Any professional software developer that tells you that they don't copy and paste code that they find on the internet, that they find on Stack Overflow, that they find on a blog post is full of And I'm here to tell you that if you're learning how to code and you find yourself struggling with stuff and you find yourself looking for the answer online and if you find yourself Googling a lot of things and you find yourself copying and pasting code, you're not doing anything wrong. But the one thing that you might be doing wrong when you are copying and pasting code is just blindly copying and pasting the code that you find and not trying to understand what it's doing. This happened to me a lot when I first started out and I would find code snippets that basically solved what I was trying to do or I would find big blocks of code that did a particular thing that I needed it to do and not really know what it was doing and not really spend the time that it took to step through every line and read all that code and try to understand. I did sometimes, I would try to understand what it was doing, but then it was just too complicated and staring at the code like made my head hurt and made me feel dumb and made me feel like I I didn't know what I was doing. So I just dump it in my code and then stuff would magically work and I'd be like, oh, that's awesome. But it wasn't until I had to go back and revisit old projects that I had coded when I first started learning after I had already learned to code for a while and you know was getting better and was understanding what I was doing and then I go back to this old code and I'm just like what is this stuff like I don't understand what I'm doing here and then it dawned on me that you know I was copying and pasting a lot of stuff and it was a lot of code that I didn't write myself and the thing is that now when I go back and I look at code that I actually wrote 100% myself I don't know what it's doing so imagine what it was like going back to seeing code that I just copy and pasted and put into my program to make it work when I was still kind of fresh and not really understanding this stuff all that great it was extra hard and now I have enough experience to where I understand code and I can read through it and kind of know what it's doing. I recently actually tweeted about this because I pulled up some stuff that I was working on like a year ago. It was a little side project that I had started and I was kind of like, oh, I want to like take a look at that and maybe revisit it and, and work on it a little bit. And I did this and I, <laughs> I sat through and had to read like every line of code and something wasn't working and I didn't have a readme, I didn't have any documentation and it was just, it was a mess. And to think that this is now after I have experience and that was stuff that I wrote. But if it was something that I didn't write, if it was something that I copy and pasted, it would be 10 times harder. And if I did that when I was just starting out, which I did, uh, you know, you, you just don't know what you're doing. So if you are gonna copy and paste code, if you are gonna take stuff from the internet, which you, sh you will and you should because that's just what we do. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if anyone tells you that they don't and they're a professional software developer or if they tell you that they never have, I wouldn't trust that person as far as I can throw them because the the thing is that everybody does it. There's a lot of memes on it. There's a lot of parody videos. There's a lot of jokes that go around how programmers just copy and paste code. And I think I remember one which was like, why should I pay you so much money if all you do is copy and paste code? And the joke is, well, I know what code to copy and paste to get it to work. And I feel that that holds true to like what I'm trying to say in this video. It's okay to copy and paste code. You're gonna copy and paste code a lot throughout your career. You're gonna do it when you're learning. You're gonna you're gonna do it often. And then eventually you'll do it less and less and less. But the truth is that it's something that developers do. So if you're learning how to code and you're worrying about copying and pasting stuff, if you feel like you're cheating, like I was talking about in the Google video where I said that it's not cheating to Google stuff and it's okay to Google the answer, the same goes for copying and pasting code. And I felt like I had to make this a little bit of a different video because it's not the exact same thing to go out and Google the answer versus to just go out and copy and paste. Although many times when you do go out and Google the answer, you end up copying and pasting code. And I felt that this was different enough to separate it out into a different video. And I'll still link the Google video above, but just know that you're not doing anything wrong if you're copying and pasting code. It's part of the job. Honestly, it really is. You know, you look for whichever answer on Stack Overflow has the highest votes and you copy and you paste it. Honestly, a lot of times I'll copy boilerplate code or I'll find like some styles in CSS that I really like 
from another website or an example somewhere and I'll just copy that into whatever I'm trying to style. And there I'm not only stealing someone's code, I'm also stealing their styles and this is normal. Good artists copy, great artists steal. And it's perfectly fine. You're not doing anything wrong if you find yourself doing this and you're you're just on your way to becoming a developer. But the way that the real professionals do it is that they know what they're copying and pasting and they make sure that it works. They make sure that it doesn't have any side effects to what they're trying to get it to do. And they make sure that it's not going to introduce any bugs in the future because of something they may have copied that didn't need to be there or was incorrectly coded and may cause problems in the future. But that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say. If you're learning how to code right now and you find yourself in Stack Overflow often or you find yourself just copying a bunch of code, just try your best to make sure you know what it's doing and eventually you will know what it's doing and you'll get better and you'll continue to progress and you'll become a professional programmer and then you'll get paid to copy and paste code like I do and many other people do. All right, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content on me talking about how I learned how to code and became a self-taught programmer, and I'll see you next time.